you for joining the South Houston Library for today's story, Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a young girl who loved to wear a red hooded cloak. She wore it so often that everyone knew her as Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood loved her grandmother very much, and one day she decided to bake some delicious chocolate chip cookies to take to her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood set off to take the cookies to her grandmother, who lived in the cottage on the other side of the woods. She knew she had to be careful because there were rumors of a clever wolf who lived in the woods. As she was walking through the woods, she heard rustling behind her. When she turned, she found herself face to face with the clever wolf. Why, good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you off to so early? The wolf asked. I'm on my way to my grandmother's house, Little Red Riding Hood replied. What have you got there in your basket? I have some delicious chocolate chip cookies for my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood said. And where does your grandmother live, Little Red Riding Hood? The wolf asked. Just at the end of the woods. I should be at her cottage in a few minutes, Little Red Riding Hood replied. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a wonderful time at your grandmother's house, the wolf said as he backed away into the trees. Little Red Riding Hood skipped along, continuing on her way to her grandmother's house. Finally, she could see her grandmother's cottage at the edge of the woods. I can't wait for grandmother to try these cookies. She will love them, Little Red Riding Hood thought. When Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house, she was surprised to see that the door was open. She knocked softly on the door and called out, Good morning, Grandmother. It is Little Red Riding Hood, and I have brought you some delicious chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood walked into the cottage and saw her grandmother in bed. Walking over to her grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood stopped. Come closer, come closer, my granddaughter, grandmother said in a raspy voice. Little Red Riding Hood hesitated. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my child, was the reply. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have, Red Riding Hood said. The better to see you with, my dear. But, grandmother, what large hands you have the better to hug you with. Oh, but grandmother, what big teeth you have, the better to eat you with. Little Red Riding Hood jumped back as she realized that the wolf had disguised himself in her grandmother's clothing. The wolf was about to open his mouth wide and swallow Red Riding Hood when through the door came a local huntsman. The wolf panicked, running out of the door before the huntsman could catch him. But where is my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood asked. Here I am, Grandmother said, coming out from the closet where she had been hiding. The wolf came to the door and knocked, pretending to be you, my dear granddaughter, and I just knew he was up to no good, so I hid. Little Red Riding Hood, her grandmother, and the huntsman sat down to enjoy the delicious chocolate chip cookies Little Red Riding Hood had baked, and Little Red Riding Hood promised to be more careful when walking through the woods. And snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. <laughs>